Hi everybody! Sorry, I'm just finishing up dinner. Well, that's not true. An after dinner snack. <laughs> but it was more of dinner. How y'all doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, we are going to do some satisfactory today. Why? Because it's been a while. And I really want to work on it. And We've got stuff to do. So, uh, apparently they put out a new PTU patch for uh, Star Citizen uh, today. I haven't played it, but uh, just from the patch notes, it was basically nothing that was uh, uh, that was bugging us yesterday. So, yay. So, I wanted to show you guys what I did while we were off stream. I did a little bit. Uh, mainly what I did was I just ran some uh, train lines. And that was it. All right, we are right here. Okay, so we ran some train lines, and I actually did some calculations uh, afterwards, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> we need some more of these, because what I actually need is... I think we need more of those. Let's go eight. And I know I have enough train stations, I just need the one extra. Okay. So let's see. What do we need? What do we have? I need motors, cable, computers, and heavy modular frames. Alright, well, the motors, I believe, are right here. Yep. Got all 50. I'm going to take an extra 50 just in case. Uh, cables. Hey, there's a whole bunch of cable right here. Uh, I actually took down some of the uh, components here because I, you know, I realized, uh, yeah, we actually have more here than we need. But I need to plug it all into another manufacturer in order to get it uh, building more modular engines and the actual computer parts. Right now, we're just out of, uh, we're out of a lot, actually. Whoa. That's a different color. Okay, so I can't cancel that. Okay, that's too bad. Well, in closing these all out, I should be getting a whole bunch of cable. Okay, so now we need the frames. Well, let's come down here and grab computers. That should be enough. And here's where we actually dump some rubber if we had any. I actually do need to build a new train that just goes to the, uh, the oil sector and then back here. But I think we're actually going to tear most of this base apart today. Mostly because we're going to uh, reconfigure this base. But there are things we need to do before we can do all that. Because right now this is where all of our resources are. So what we need to do is we need to come over to the base here and actually start uh, pulling in the resources we need. And to do that, we need to get uh, our storage system, you know, basically finalized. And a lot of other things, but, you know, before we can really do any of that, we need more power. And to get more power, we need to, uh, you know, we need to bring stuff from over there, over here. All right, let's see now. We have all of these stations, and almost all of these, I think, are actually hooked up. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, I can't, uh... Alright, for right now at least. We'll just get some power on all of these. And this is basically our big uh, power grid. And I should actually uh, probably have a, uh, a breaker box here so I can set up, you know, break off power to the whole world. But, you know, this is just going to be an easy little thing. temporarily. I'll just bring these out this way. Just, you know, plugging these in is going to cause massive power issues. But that's okay. Okay, so, oh, it looks like we're uh, full of rubber and probably, oh, no, no, we're actually fine. We're full of plastics. So I'm actually going to have the rubber mobile. Stop delivering it here and start taking it to our origin base. So now we'll go from there to over there. Am I hearing? Yes, somebody's trimming outside. Alright. I wasn't sure if that was in the game or what. So now that train will come back, go this way, and then come that way. Uh, what I need to do is figure out where we're going to put stuff. Now, I know that there's like... Yes, that's right. Uh, the resources we're going to bring in here are going to be the uh, basically all of the uh, the pipes and the uh, and everything else. Now, I've actually done a lot of work over here. If you if you haven't seen it but yet, uh, I went through and uh, got all of these kind of situated. They're all feeding in nice and clean. And all of these items come over to this wall where they cascade down to the delivery and uh, sorting room. So here is where we can do all our messy stuff. So one of the things we need to do is we need to figure out, okay, you know, here's all these pipes. This one's uh, in case industrial steel beam, Alcat aluminum sheet, and concrete. Well, concrete is just right over there. So we're going to have to eventually bring it over here and feed it in. Uh, same with that, same with that. And eventually all of these are going to get fed into. Uh, this one, iron plates. That can't be right. Reinforced iron plates and steel beams. So the steel beams, since that's a middle one, that means it's that guy. Now, all this feeds all up there. I also have to consider the ones that feed over here because two of the items I'm bringing uh, actually need to go over there. So our sorting Okay, that... Oh! Oh! I can mouse wheel and it changes the rotation. I never knew that before. Wait. Yes, I did. 
I didn't know it worked on these things. Interesting. Hold E to quick switch. Yep. It's nice that he did all this. So it looks like they really uh, did a nice little uh, cleanup on the uh, on the building system, or at least the building UI. Okay, so I know that one of these is going to be the. Uh, Wait, do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Alright. Yeah, I know that one of these is going to be uh, oh. one will be given to the to the dwarf lords. No. Um... One of these is pipes, and I don't know which one. But we're just going to kind of work with what we got. right I did this wrong because what we need to do is we say that but now we need to go like that. I don't know if that's enough. Let's uh, get up there and find out. Well, the good news is all of this is hooked up. No, it was not enough. Yep, I messed that up. Dough. All right, looks like twenty. Yep. Perfect. So now I can copy this to there and to there. Now I take that down, align to there, and bring this one to the middle. About there. Yep, perfect. No. Yeah, there goes the train. Uh, I can't afford this. Okay. 
And now we're down here at the bottom. And I built these too far out, didn't I? I can't tell anymore. It feels that way. Now, on the other hand, that looks about right. Yeah, we'll say that's right. Alright, well, at least I got this one templated. Still gotta know which one is which, though. So let's go find out. <laughs> so I added a few extras because I, you know, did the math. I also did a little bit of rearrangement because uh, I wasn't happy with some of the locations things were. Alright, so it looks like number four. I also added some lights. It looks nice. One, two, three, four. Ah. Okay. So this one... is that one. Okay. Well, this one's close, so we could actually make it right here. Um... So this will be... Unload. Actually, all these are going to be unload, but we just need one platform, one train that does all of our terrible, terrible secrets. I mean, um,. And by default, you go the other way. So you have to especially go this way. So this is our uh, our coal line, for lack of a better term. And we could probably put another guy on here, but uh, let's come right here. All right, uh, this is. Um, Uh, steel line. Alright. So this is the steel line station. Steel line base. There goes the rope. <laughs> okay, so... We will deal with ores when they get here, and or all the resources, but for now, let's just tell everything to unload. And 
We could theoretically put another one on here, but at the moment we only have one additional resource going that way. So, I should probably have that going up and then over. But, eh. Uh, let's make sure... Yeah, I'm fine. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't forgetting something. <laughs> Last thing to do! Get over there and forget you, you have to buy some, you know, something you have to purchase. Now I might add a hyper tube over there, but I'm actually going to uh, disassemble the whole uh, the whole line so this whole pathway you see with all the stuff I want to disassemble that that's one of my goals for today but before I can do that I need a way of getting the resources over here I figure the easiest way to do that is to bring a train hell I could even just add a train directly to here But, yeah, that's also one of the reasons why we're going to reforge some of this stuff. So, yeah, especially, yeah, all four of these items. Now, maybe what I should do is build a special train just for Caterium. I don't know. But for right now I want to build I want to move all of this onto a train. Get that over to the base and then hopefully get that loaded up into our uh, systems. So what I did was uh, I went out to our train area out there and I brought the train tracks all the way out through there. And then, as you can see a little bit up right there, I took them and I, you know, rounded them up, brought them all the way up over here. And, oh, there's some, uh, there's some landscapes over there. Interesting. Uh, and then I brought them just to right here. And you can see I, I've built a little bit of a platform. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the, the new train system. I'm also going to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about the explosives here. So that's our new train platform. Ow. and I want to get our power production up here above our max consumption we're doing okay for now but I definitely need to go through here and kind of reconfigure things make this a nice you know external factory and then have everything come up here so there it is you can see this is our little, this is my little travel train. And he's sitting right here with two lines, an out, uh, input and an output. But we need to, uh, we need to build up this station. What do I have going down here? Oh, that's right. Oh. At any rate... Let's figure out how we want this to go. So, logic dictates that uh, I need to come down here to transportation. 
build one train station. Probably right here. That gives us enough t uh, of a t uh, spot to turn around. So let's actually get onto my travel system. That's perfectly curved. Yep, that's good. All right. So we have freight. And I think it's going to... Yeah, let's load it on, on this side. All right. So now we can bring this over here. Got to find the nice kind of middle spot. Yeah, we'll do we go with that. And for this, I'll kind of come in a little bit tighter. But now that I have an idea, of where I need to go. So now this train can move all on its own. But now comes the, uh, the interesting part. <laughs> I say interesting. We now need to load this all up with the resources. So Let's uh, come down here. Oh, what's what's going on? You guys having fun? Can I take that down? Nope. Encroaching on another's clearance. That's too bad. I, th I was hoping that would work, because that would have been nice. Oh, here's a question. Can I do this after? Can I put those afterwards? No. Okay. Well, because I want to kind of enclose this.
Ooh, maybe that's how I'll do this. Hmm. Well, anyway, you look at this. I need to go down. So let's uh, grab you. Come down here. What I think we'll do is we'll actually kind of uh, break most of this up after we've uh, done what we need to do. Oh, too far. Good enough. Get rid of all of you. Okay. So, here's the question the million dollar question How do I want to order this? Because how I set it up here determines how it's received back home. Uh, we could make the first one the uh, closest item. So that would be the... Uh, that would be this item. So that's just a simple come this way and go that way. I'm not very happy about that, but... Oh, did I... Ooh. That's the first one down. Let's 
I'm going to guess that I need to do something more along the lines of that. Uh, that means I'll probably have to push back that way more, but we could also uh, deal with this as it comes. So. Yeah, I'm going to reconfigure downstairs. And I'm going to reconfigure this too now. Right now. Very... So, I think that that's just a Mark 1. Yeah. Do I have the stuff for a Mark II? No, I need frames and a miner. Alright, well I can probably make a miner. Yeah. And what about frames? Can I make frames? Yes, I can. How many frames did I need? I'm going to say 10. It's probably going to be 6, but let's go 10. Alright. Oh, you know what? I have hard drives on me. Oh, that's right. I uh, have to had to analyze hard drives here. Huh. Ooh, charcoal, quick wire cable. That looks like a crappy recipe, but you know, yeah. That, however, is a nice one. Just had five copper. All right, we got a new recipe. Let's scan some more hard drives. Well, that, now that makes that a lot, uh, a lot more profitable. So, what do we got over here? 
240 production. This is 120. And now it's 300. <laughs> no, this is going to be way too much. But where is there copper nearby? I think it's just like right over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some over there. My god, it's all around us. It surrounds us. It's not one person's clearance, it's another. So, what do we have here? Iron and iron. So not that far away. Oh, reconfiguring this is going to be a bitch. First of all, bringing uh, the copper all the way over here, that's going to be interesting. Is this stuff moving pretty well? No, it, it can be better. need to get some miners. But yeah, all of this is going to be get rebuilt. Okay, that was interesting. Drive so done. Uh, what do I need for a Mark II miner? I was right, 10 frames. I should have enough. May only have to make five builds of this. Last one. All right. I did see that. Yeah, I have some slugs in my inventory. Let's get rid of them by converting them over to power shards, which we will need. And I think before we get too far into this whole, you know, reconfiguring this part of the base, let's, uh, let's build the damn train. So we have the steel base. So, trainy boys. There we go. Train station, steel base. Locomotive, I'm assuming that this is this one. 
steel line. First base is this. No, we want the, st the steel. Steel base. And then the steel line at the base. Turn on autopilot. will now go all the way back to base and then back here oh no all right so at least now we're getting uh, some of those components back. Uh, I'm going to come over here. And get this going again. Because screw it. Until we get it rebuilt, it needs to just keep working. I think I'm actually going to have this one plug into the far back one. So that one will be... One of these will be the, the steel, one of them will be the uh, pipes. The pipes, the pipes are calling. Oh, I, I messed that up, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Well, can't do anything about it now. Actually, you know what, let's actually break these all down. Oh, the man research is done. So this one will feed into this, and this one will feed into that. Not pretty, but we'll clean it up later.
So now... Two of these lines will fill up. And now we'll work on this last one. So yeah, I definitely messed something up here. Yeah. I must have accidentally uh, hit a button. Okay. So that's going to make that one do that. All right, so here's my temp fix. This is all going to dry up eventually. But for right now, everything's now feeding up into the train station. in time for the train to get here. Yep, filling up with pipes. Perfect. Now I forget what I have on here. Oh. Okay. I thought so. Oh, two of them. One pure. Well, they're both pure. Okay, so these are both pure nodes. Ooh, shit. What am I going to do with these? <laughs> um, well, let's, you know, first things first. Okay.
Oh, hello. I don't want it to get in the way of the train, but at the same time... Oh, well, maybe I should just... Go through. Approaching on another's clearance, of course. Seriously? All right, well. Missing iron rod. God damn it. All right. Well, for right now. So what do you have to? 240. I can get that up to 600. Which is more than a Mark IV belt can handle, I believe. Yep, I can handle a 480 line. On the other hand, if I set this up to 600, I just have to upgrade the uh, stuff. I don't have to worry about uh, output. It is a long train ride. Okay, so now that I have these here, 
I now have to relook at all this. But you know what? I think we have another MAM research done. At least we should. Let's look at that and see what kind of other alternate recipes we can look at. Okay. Oh, yeah. Polyester fabric. Oh my, that is a nice recipe. That, however, 15 per minute. Mm, uses three times th that. Okay, so... 12, 24, 36. You're using way more bolts than you need. So, quite frankly, the stitched iron, pl iron plate is uh, a cheaper prospect. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Or is it? Yeah, kind of. Limestone's kind of necessary. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking the fabric. Because just taking resin and water to make cloth as opposed to uh, stuff I have to manually gather, that that's an automated thing. So let's go with that. Alright, more hard drives. So, now that I have... Now that I have the uh, stuff there coming in, now I want to rethink what I have here. Because first of all, this is not enough to uh, do everything. And we're just emptying stuff right now. Yeah, these machines are still empty. Jeez. Get faster. I could just kind of just plug this in so it just keeps going. Come on. Nice. I don't know if this worked. <laughs> well, there's one way to find out. This is going to do 300. Nice.
Yeah, you're doing fine. Okay. Alright, I need more rods. And then, uh, hopefully we'll get some nice, uh, alternate recipes. Actually, I could probably just sacrifice these guys. More rods for the rod gods! So I don't, I'm not sure what I want to do about uh, explosives. I mean, on the one hand, you know, it's really the only thing I use sulfur for. And I do have a supply of sulfur here. And I'm just bringing in some uh, extra stuff to make the black powder. On the other hand, well, first of all, All right. I think what we're going to do is Yeah, we're going to uh basically stop production over here. We're gonna, we're going to take all this away. First of all, we have plenty. Second of all, I think just uh, you know having this produce and then fill up and then we you know basically take it back to base, which means I need to add another train stop down there. Fortunately, I think I have a uh, I might have enough space. I don't know. I mean, what's the sulfur used for? Let's 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 take a look. No, man, not gonna tell me. Fine. No, well, we do have uh, a mixed recipe here. Interesting. And we got some nice wires. Okay, so between that and the other recipe, uh, where's the, uh, you know, uh, that's just a nice thing. You know, we use four copper, you know, one copper equals two wire, or four copper plus one cateterium bar equals 30 wire. That's a massive savings. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe I should just, uh, not send the wire, but instead send the the, the, the Caterium bars. Do uh, some of my production, you know, back at the base. And actually, that may not be a bad idea. That would save us some. Uh, that would save us some time. All right, rods. I need metal bars, iron bars. Which means I just need iron. Do 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 fifty. How are you doing? Another minute. Okay. So probably by the time I'm done uh, making these. out of rods so. so it's looking like uh, 
I don't know, do I build items in place and then ship them back to the base for assembly? I should say, you know, do I build up the raw materials and assemble them somewhere else? Or do I uh, try to bring things here, build, you know, larger items here, and then uh, ship those larger items back? What I do not want to do, I think, is uh, bring the raw resources back. Like, you know, what if I just, you know, brought all the coal to one location? You know, the coal base. You know, yeah, let's say that this is the coal base. Uh, if I shipped coal here from basically all over, and I, you know, shipped a whole bunch of other stuff here, I could then, uh, you know, build and then ship things back. But that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of train stations. Now I get an alternate smart plating recipe. Which literally just adds <laughs> plastic to that. I don't know if I'm going to need that anymore. Now that looks interesting. 80 per minute. Now, unfortunately this means I got to use a, a, ref a refinery. Oh, what's this? Oh, damn! Adhered iron plate. It produces only one of them. But it uses less iron than the default recipe. And instead of using uh, copper, instead of using, uh, you know, like wires. Oh, damn, that is a nice recipe. Yeah, let's go with that one. That's an interesting recipe. I mean, I, I never thought about it like that. So. Oh, can I, do I have any more hard drives I can toss in? No. Okay, they're at the base, I guess. Alright, so... Uh, let's actually do what we... Uh, what I said I was going to be doing in the uh, tweets and everything. Is Let's go make more power. How are we doing? Yeah, we're, 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 we're topping off. But, at least now, all of this stuff is being sent back to the base, even if it's just slowly. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to take my train. Just so you guys can see what uh, the path this big-ass train takes. I'll take my worker train. I have not ridden this all the way, you know, from one side to the other. But I did have to walk through this. around the Mercer Spheres. And the Somer Loops. Yeah, pick up another hard drive from there.
So this was our path all the way back to the foundry. So, these should be filling up with all those items. So now we can actually start bringing them up. Yep, yeah, we got Caterium. Pipes. And, yes, good. So I think what we'll do is we'll make this, you know, not only a headquarters for the uh, the base produ produ production items, but also where we're going to uh, build more items. So for right now, we were actually in the middle of working on this. Yeah, these are out too far. Okay. Yep. Okay, so that's one, that's two, well, Too, is that right? No, it's not. All right, that looks good. Yes, that's perfect. Too low. Perfect. Yep, good. Yeah, that's right. Second. There we go. All right.
perfect. And finally, the last round. Okay, so now these are all feeding down, and I can start feeding stuff into them. <laughs> However, I need to get these guys back over here. Because I... was low on connective tissue, for lack of a better phrasing. <laughs> Although I gotta admit, I really do like that phrasing, the connective tissue. Alright, down, down in history, of course. I'm trying to remember how I did this. I believe what I did was just uh, come out here, find this, line this up. And switch that way. Perfect. All right. So these are all connected now. And what I really should do is add like a whole big overflow system. I just have it all feed into a... Uh, Have it all feed into one big chungus machine. <laughs> A big old chunky boy. Now I haven't decided what I want to have out here yet. I mean, you know, in theory this room's done. I don't think I'm going to need much more than this, but I do want to add a little bit of a buffer. But at the same time, if I did that, I'd have to, you know, extend that out one way or the other and somehow get all the new ones to connect. I could also then have to take these and expand them out that way, which would, you know, upset the whole balance. So, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to need much more than what I have here. And the good news is all these, you know, have a, a back one. And they're all double connected. So they should feed into the front pretty quickly. I don't know, maybe I'll put the big chungus out here. Although I kind of feel like I probably need to do like, you know, three or four. And basically what I would just do is put on, you know, smart splitters on each one of these, have them kind of interconnect and just chain down. 
On the other hand, I could add the, uh, the splitting down here, which would make things a little bit cleaner in some ways. All right, so I know that this one right here, whoop, this is my uh, my iron line. This is the one I need for uh, the pipes. So let's come down over here and see what we need to bring up. Uh, I think that one. Okay, so here's the Caterium. Here are the pipes. There are those. And then finally, here are these. is my organization crosswalk platforms ah these are just like right in the middle it's, it's really sucks so I best I, I guess the best I can do is just add uh, railings Actually, no, I do want that. But... Actually... No. Until I get these, uh, until I get these properly piped, I might be changing their orientation. So I won't beautify this whole little sector until I get that dealt with. Now, pipes. do have to go that way. The rest of these might have to go have to go the other way. So let's see, that's wire. I think that one also has to go over here. So these two go that way and those two go that way. So they probably have to be reversed. You know, 
I could actually just bring them that way. Hope that's the top. <laughs> I can barely see. Yeah, I'm missing quartz. All right, so what I'll do. Is bring this. In like this. Bring this in here. And then, uh, well, you know what? Maybe they should go up. aligned? Yes, it is. Okay, so... This is encased steel beam. So that's the one on top. And that one's just steel beam. That's iron plates. Steel beam. What's that one? You know what? I got them backwards. That one should go there, and that one should go there. And pick this up. Alright, so you go there, and you go there. So we should be able to come over here. Yep, and they're heading up. And they're both feeding in. Our first two items are being fed in. That is fantastic. Hmm. I wonder. Now that I have all that kind of figured out and you know everything kind of built, I can try and get those guys over. Oh, 
Oh, I do want to build a sorting machine. Good. Good. So basically it's a, a place where I can just dump all my stuff and it will automatically sort into everything we need. Is this done yet? Oh no, wait, yeah. That's right, we need to actually build up some more. Ah, seven hard drives, there we go. And we'll just kind of work on these throughout the night. Or at least the next hour. <laughs> So, a sorting machine, huh? Yes, a sorting machine. Well, I suppose the easiest way to do the sorting machine would be to run new dedicated lines that, uh, I don't know, would I want to just dump them into those? I mean, that would stop, uh, other things. I, I could, what I could do is actually just have it go this way and merge into here. Or, I could actually have the lines come over here and be the priority input. Versus this. Or I could just do that right here. I think it's this one. Yeah, that's concrete. All right. Well, uh, all right. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, that's uh, the aluminum. That's a reinforced plate. Plastic. And that's rubber. I forget what this is. Copper sheets? Um, I don't know. Reinforced plates, iron plates, rubber and plastic. We, we are, we're, we're starting those, so let's pick those up. Concrete too, since we're starting that line. 
All right, so we're just going to have this kind of go this way. Okay, that's rubber. Rubber, plastic, concrete. Plastic. Concrete. Alright, which one of these is concrete? I believe it's you. Nope. You. Okay, so that should now feed in. Now we need to deal with the rubber and the plastic. Which I believe should come up around here. Oh, well, it's right where the train station was, but no, it comes up on the other side. Which makes it right about here. Hey, what I say? What I say, what I say, what I say. I is a Okay, that's the rubber. the plastic so all right let's see one two three four five six Okay, rubber and plastic. Nice. Oh, we've automated the, that system. Whoo, finally. So am I doing... Eh, no. That's probably fine. Alright, organization.
Hmm. All right, let's switch up our timetable over on. Okay, so now this will come back this way. Good. Alright, so there was uh, a whole bunch here that I was going to stockpile. I think it was the concrete and the copper. All right, we also have that and that. Okay. I'm actually going to let the, that go just for a moment. Because I think that's actually something that happens over here. Yeah, that's on the other side. All right. At any rate, I need some more of these, I believe. But what I am really lacking are the rods. Probably also work on uh... Oh, actually this is what I'm missing. Did the man finish? I feel like the man might have finished. Well, we'll take a look in the moment. Seriously? I grabbed all of that and I still didn't have enough. Alright. Um, five from the end. makes you this one, right? Yep, alright. So, there are these two. Oh my, okay, so. That's silica. means 
this one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the bottom one, the lower one's going to be the, uh, so this one is that, and that one goes there. So silica is on top, if I remember. Well, let's give this a shot. Oh, it's such a out of reach. Oh well. Silicon top. So the silica should come up up there, and that's right there. Perfect. Okay. We are doing way better. <laughs> We actually got our uh, our system running. Definitely still have to add sorting. Build my auto sorter. But now we will gain a lot of the silica and the uh, quartz crystal. going to actually take two stacks of that. Ah, uh, yep, ma'am ma finished. Alright, ooh! In case... Um... Mm. Alright, so that drops the bolts requirement and gives us more. We produce less per minute. No, no, no. We produce more per minute. We don't use any bolts. We instead use concrete. And we're look looks like the recipe is a less than about two thirds, I would say. So that is a very nice one. What about this one? Steel coated plastic. So you're taking steel and plastic and you're making 18 iron plates? No. Um, no. 
this one is absolutely the best <laughs> out of those. I mean, the others are nice, but that was just... <sighs> All right, let's see. What are we doing? Oh, yes, we are uh, going to come here. We're going to make a whole bunch of empty canisters. Why? I need fuel. So I'm wondering if I should go to my gas setup, or if I should take this over to the fuel center. Probably the fuel center. The, the one place where I have, you know, fuel ready to be packaged. I don't know, maybe I should... Uh, Maybe I should just build a packager and take that over and, you know, dump that in. Wouldn't be that hard. I mean, what does it take to build a packager? Well, we'll wait until I'm almost done. I'm, I'm, I think I'm almost done here. I'm only doing 800! Production Packager. All right, iron beams, steel beams. How does this come in? That, we need to plug that up. <laughs> plug that in, not up. Let's grab some of those. Rubber. Let's grab a stack and a stack. Um, I'm also probably also going to need copper. Just because. Let's deposit all of this. No way, I need that. And, uh, yeah, absolutely going to need some, uh, some of those. Well, actually, no, we can do it with, uh, those. But, uh, I also want to work on... Fuel generators. How many can I make? All right. Well, let's say four. I need frames and motors, huh? Motors. Oh, and rubber. Hmm. 
hands-free. For her convenience. I'm not sure, but I think I uh, I broke the other train. Uh, steel line? No, that's going between those two bases. What about my other locomotive? It's off. And this guy is going between the base and Northern Oil. Yeah, th those are all right. Those are all correct, I should say. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I'm giving it some thought, and I think I need to redesign this base a little. I'm not sure how, but I, I think I want to redesign it a bit. I mean, I've got these. These are perfect. These are everything is all lined up. I definitely need more of these. I'm also curious on how many of these I can run on a single line. Well, if you consider each one does 12 a minute, and if we can fill a Mark VI pipe, Mark IV pipe, 600 a minute. That's 50 of these on a single line. All right. So I suppose what I should do is actually, you know, turn this into a, you know, kill this one, turn this into a fuel packager. Or what I could do is just put the fuel packager right here. And yeah, at least for right now. Well, actually. Yeah, for right now, this is just gonna siphon off the uh existing system. And it only needs a Mark 1. Package fuel. that backwards
yeah, I'll temporarily borrow you. So there, now I can just toss in empty ones here and get full ones here. Alright, what do we get? Ooh! Heavy residue oil. How does that compare to what I have now? Um, okay, basically I get the residue oil directly. Ooh, Caterium to, directly to wire. Uh, I think the heavy residue oil might be the best option in some cases. So this is just a temporary solution. Let's, uh... I need more, uh, I need more, uh, stuff. Is this on? Yeah, that's on. How about this one? That one's on? It's also at 20%. Still doing good on power. <laughs> Ish. Uh, yeah, I gotta go get more concrete. did that loop earlier. Maybe it's... Maybe. That's stupid. At least the train didn't die. <laughs> but it might have, I don't know.
Did the train die? No one will ever know. Why? Because no one will ever see it again. Okay. <coughs> Can I even see the train anymore? Nope. Boy, that really, really screwed that one up. those. You know what? I actually do need to borrow some of these so we can craft medicinal inhalers. Bacon and nuts, huh? Well, I need, uh, okay, I don't need you, and I'm not going to need you. Actually, bacon and nuts. And alien carpuses. Cancel. I did not want to make more of those. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but... Dun dun da 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 ba 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 All right, let's go uh We'll go see if we can't get this train back up and running. Assuming it's still here. Oh, it disappeared. Did I get all the stuff to make a new train, though?
<laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Oh, better hurry. God damn it. Be nice if I could toggle these. From the train. Enter choo choo name, uh, big oil. <laughs> Plastic and rubber. And then back to the or not the origin base. Uh, we want the northern oil. I just gave you a timetable. Ow. <coughs> okay, so 50 of these can run on a single 60 belt, which means 25 can run on a 30 belt, a 30 port. So let's see, we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, um, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba. Okay, so I know that that takes up basically three. And this one should take up basically three, which means I should have a line down the middle that's effectively clear. Instead, I kind of put it off center and it's really, it's tilting me. <laughs> Not to put too fine of a word on it. Okay, so I'm actually, for the briefest of moments, going to tear these down. All of them. Wipe it out. All of it. Grab these two as well. And 
And for that, we're actually going to... Hmm. So, here is a question. How exactly do I want to do this? I think probably taking, you know, things down a center line would be ideal. I also feel like this is in the wrong spot. And it needs to be in line, like those guys. So, let's uh, at least temporarily put another one right here. there. Put another valve. So we want it all to get flushed into there. And just to kind of speed things along. Ooh, Mark II pumps. That should help drain this. Now, if I'm right, yeah, we are currently running on battery power. We've got about 30 minutes before the whole system dies. And this one's almost full. Nice. Ah, the sun! It burns as precious. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say that's good enough.
Yes, yes, I know. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, I have all this backed up fuel. And now it's gone. Now this is the same as all the others. Alright, so. I am going to say... That right here is our pipe starting point. So, Is that enough room over here? No, it is not. Okay. I thought maybe we could do something like this. I guess we can't.
Okay. So now... How's that doing? That's helping. Doing the piping. Doing the piping. Doing the piping. to get us back to close. And then, now this is just a little bit more even. actually Now those are going. Oh, our capacity is uh, our capacity just got up there. Yay! How many more can he, of these can I produce? Probably a fair amount of them. But at what point do I consider another floor? Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm running 12 right now.
I mean, at some point I have to consider a second floor. Okay, another two, huh? I'm good with that. capacity is looking good we are absolutely above our uh, our threshold but our max consumption rate still pretty high so now we're doing one two three four five six seven that can't be right one two three four five six seven. no we're doing seven so we're doing 14 on a single line how are we doing Oh, we're full up in the flow rates. Uh, not bad. So let's see. We're at 14 times 12. <laughs> we're not even consuming a Mark I pipe. So... We are not even, all of together, this is not even half of what, one line. But what I'm thinking is actually I'll have this kind of come this way. And then I'm going to split it up. Half of it goes that way, half of it goes up. And up is where we'll have the second floor. So this is going to be a first floor of like, let's say 24. So we're about half there now. And then the second, or, or no, we could do the 26 here, and we'll do another, uh, you know, we'll do uh, 24 up top. Or, let's look at it this way. A 600 line is divisible by 3 into 200. Divided by 12 is 16, almost 17. So... We're actually almost there. So if we split this up into three floors, yeah, we're almost there. We're like two away. And then I could, you know, do three floors on top of this. Now the troublesome part is going to be getting all these lines working together. And building all the power plants right out here. Uh, the other uh, the other troublesome part is going to be getting uh, all of our resources back over that way. So I don't think I'm even consuming a full pipe yet. I mean, this is consuming 60. Yeah, this each one of these will consume a full line of oil. Ish. And then each one of these is producing 40 oil, per, or 30 fuel per minute, so 40 so let's see one two three four five six six times 40 is a 240 line right now 
So, at best, this produces me not even one full pipe of fuel. Yeah, let's turn these on. So all this is being pushed out this way, which is slowly making my plastic and my rubber. I have most of my plastic ones turned off because yeah, I want to make sure I'm actually producing rubber. There's going to be a whole lot of overflow here. Now, I believe, yes, right here, I actually have a limiter on how much water can go in here, mostly because, well, it doesn't need the full amount. It just needs uh, 150. The rest of it goes, will hopefully go this way, especially since I have this cut off. And down here is another oil pipe. If I need to put more water on here, I can, but I, I haven't needed it yet. And I still have no idea what I'm doing out here. So yeah, uh, one thing I do want to look at is actually, you know, kind of reconfiguring this a little bit. Just to make it easier for us. But we are absolutely above our uh, production line, so we are good, but we are nowhere near our max uh, consumption. Getting above that, that's going to be the nice part. Max consumption is the line you get when everything it gets eaten up. When everything is on and everything is 100%, and I'm not even sure if that calculates in uh, whether or not we need to... Uh, you know, I have some other stuff. I'm not sure. Let's see, how are we doing here? Well, not bad. And we're absolutely going to have to make more batteries. But I'm actually really impressed with the uh, oil uh, setup I have right here. Because I have all these lines coming in and I'm trying to merge them and equalize them out. And I think I have it. But at least for right now, I only have one being output. You know what? Let's do this. Since we have so a little bit of, don't want to call it time. Time makes it generous. Time makes fools of us all, Doctor. Ah, oh, you recognize me as a doctor. Who could not recognize you as the doctor? I'm not the doctor, I'm just a doctor. Alright, so it looks like... Uh, get up here since this will be easier to see. 
And we'll just kind of fill in this stuff. I'll tell you what, something I'm doing right now is I'm actually going back and I'm watching Deep Space Nine. Uh, I'd forgotten just how good of a Star Trek series this was. And if anyone ever tries to convince you that it's a bad series, they're wrong. I mean, yes, you can make the argument that it's not a Star Trek series. Uh, but that really defines how you define Star Trek. Because if you, if you think about it in, uh, well, let's look at it this way. A lot of TV, TV shows now are episodic. You know, they, they have a single continuous storyline. Well, I'm not, not continuous. I'm sorry. Not episodic. A lot of TV shows have large overarching storylines that can, you know, help build in to our current, uh, you know, to a singular storyline, but, you know, they still have, you know, little sh uh, storylines in between here and there. Deep Space Nine was one of the first TV shows that did that. And a lot of people gave it flack for, you know, not having the, you know, Monster of the Week kind of uh, format that Star Trek was so popular for. Now, that said, you know, a lot of people didn't really like the Monster of the Week format. But the argument could be made that, hey, that is the Star Trek style. Well, just because that was a Star Trek style and, you know, then the next gen style, that was Roddenberry style. That doesn't make it the only good style. I mean, you know, Voyager. Look at Voyager. Yes, it was a little bit of a Monster of the Week kind of format, but it still had a large overarching storyline, even if it was just, hey, we need to get home. Look at the final season of Enterprise, though. Massive overarching storyline. And people absolutely loved it, you know, despite all the uh, other problems they had with uh, with that. You know, they still loved it. Okay, there we go. Uh, all the outputs are now uh, hooked up correctly. Oh, oh nope, not these ones. But, you know, even a lot of very popular shows. I mean, look at the TV show Heroes. You know, that went on for like four or five seasons, something like that. That was a, 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 a large storyline style show. And yeah, they had a whole lot of uh, stumbling blocks and, you know, they made their mistakes. But they didn't shy away from having a uh, large overarching storyline. And again, Star uh, Deep Space Nine was one of the pioneers of that style, that storytelling style. They weren't the only ones to do it, but you know, and they probably weren't the first, but they were the first in the Star Trek universe to do it. I mean, Discovery is super popular, and you know, they have uh, they have an overarching storyline. There. There's no point in uh, delaying stuff coming out with a slower belt. Going the old, you know, especially if you're just trying to empty one of these machines. But yeah, Deep Space Nine was just fantastic, and why is that crooked like this? Ah.
There we go, that's better. Yeah, pulling the the uh, pulling this in absolutely. Let's go slow, but pulling stuff out that can be done at maximum speed. But yeah, a lot of people were not happy with Deep Space Nine's you know, singular overarching storyline system. Not me. I loved it. I mean, yeah, it, you know, maybe it wasn't the exploration style of, of uh, all the others, but it was still really good. Okay, so I got all that settled. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I suppose in that particular instance. Something like that's okay. shove these back more but you know, I wanted to leave room in case we uh, had to add other machines to the lot to the pipeline like a packager okay there's probably it, the mam should be done by now I think it probably was I just you know, moved on all right ooh copper rotors steel rod yeah Copper rotors. Oh. Okay. Eleven point two five per minute. It uses just over twice as many bolts. But instead of the copper instead of the iron rods, you use copper. That could be beneficial. All right, so Hmm. 
I'm wondering if maybe I should move these somewhere else. Although I gotta say, I really kind of like the, the look I have going here. I'm only mostly just putting these on here to keep it from uh, going nuts and backing up. little bit of uniformity. How's our power doing? Oh, we're just touching it, but... Alright, what do I need for uh, more? I'm just out of computers, mostly. Hope I get up there quickly. And away we go! I don't know why I'm going through this big mushroom, but... Mm -hmm. Slug right there. Eventually, I'll get this all filled out. How are these doing? Oh, they're they're all empty. Oh, except for oh, this. Oh, that's full. And that's full. So now that we have a base here, maybe I should uh, move my Caterium mining over here.
I do have like two or three Caterium nodes. my dog doing? Oh, you don't remember me. I don't remember dying, but okay. Copper ore. Where's the copper? There it is. Put that back in there. Another two minutes. How am I doing over here? Still need stairs. Still need the metal conveyor walls. I'm all done on attachments. I could use the pipes and the inverted corners. And inverted ramps. Ooh, and the pillar. So look, I got the cyber wagon. I have not bought any statues. And I have no need of parts right now. At least none that I wish to spend on that. Okay, so... trying to think how I want to kind of reorganize this part of the base because on the one hand on the one hand this is working and this is you know basically all I have on the other hand I've got new recipes a fair number of them I also have trains now, and I'm not really using this one. I've got a lot of new uh, recipes and big things to build. But, you know, there's also the power issue. You know, what? Okay, let's see. Aluminum alloy. Copper and iron. Two of each creates five. Oh, that's not bad. Steamed copper. Pipes. There. Sheets. That's not bad. And then we've got the rubber in the cable. I don't really want to use rubber. Iron alloy might not be a bad idea, but I like the idea of the steamed copper sheets. 
but it does cost a refinery to make. On the other hand, it only costs one more copper bar. I can't even make uh, two copper bars with three. Just add water. I mean, water's cheap. Let's go with that one. And water is usually plentiful. Okay, so how are we doing over here? We're about half done. Uh, have big oil instead of drop stopping there. Now comes the origin base. And we got the steel line, it's on its way to the steel base. That's what Bilbo Backhands hates! Hmm... I think... I think... Gunk! How are we doing? I've got one. Smart splitter right here going off over here to merge into that. Now, let me do the math here again. I think I have enough. Um, I need 100 adaptive control units. They take, you know, I produce two of them. So I only need wire for 15 or 50. So I only need to craft this 50 times. So 15 times 50 is 750. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, 
Okay. Fifty times fifteen is seven hundred and fifty. Divided by Okay, so you know, fifteen stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Almost enough, actually. I thought I had exactly enough, but it turns out it's almost. And I have an alternate recipe. Interesting. That's actually a nice alternate recipe. All right, adaptive control units. Heavy modular frames. Uh, we basically have to set this up to make, you know, 100 adaptive frames. But we get two, so that's only going to require, uh, I think, 100 each. Yeah, it takes two modular frames to make two adaptive, so it's going to cost 100 each. I have that in my inventory. Circuit boards and computers. Oh, that's down below. Let's uh, come here. All right, so. Okay, there we go. That will now go in directly. So now I need 100 computers. I need uh, 10 times 50, so 100. Wait, is that right? No. That's going to be 20. So there's another 40. So I'll be 20 crafts, so it will create 40. So I've already put 80 in there, so definitely going to need more computers. But I'm also going to need more of that uh, wire.
Ah, ma'am's done. wiring, it's just stators and cable. So so I need 50 crafts of this and 50 crafts require 15. That's 750. Um, it was like 37, I think. If I have extras, I have extras. Now for the cable, I suspect I pretty much am going to have to do a split here. That's weird. Graphics are disappearing on me. I'm down those things. Really? So just the rubber? No. No plastic? No plastic? No wonder it was it was set wasn't set to take plastic. Ah. All right, let's go see the ma'am. It's an angry ma'am. Ooh! <gasps> oh! That is the fucking cheap computers! Because I can... I mean, yeah, I gotta build crystal oscill oscillators, but... Uh, I can also build this in the assembler. I don't need the massive, you know, <laughs> thing up there. Oh! And I don't need plastic or bolts. Well, I need bolts to make the plates. <laughs> oh, pocket of it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm grabbing that. I mean, yeah, I can you know use one of these to make computers. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna do that. What is this doing? Yeah, 
There, two and a half a minute. Forty eight seconds each. Good. How are you doing? One per minute. Now, one every 24 seconds. Got a nice backup of that. That's nice and backed up. And we got plenty of oil. Plenty of the nice stuff. Plenty of the nice stuff. We already got eight. Nice. Unlocking seven and eight, that's gonna be uh that's a big chunky boy time. Alright, we're up to ten. We'll just let these ones go. I forget what was the ah. You know, I feel like there should be a button other than the scroll wheel. Because I cannot smoothly zoom in or out. starter bases you try to do the best you can but sometimes it just doesn't happen apparently there's a uh, 
There's a uh, special clap that you can get. Yeah, it's probably like one in a million chance. going down or coming up? It's going down. What are you doing? Are you making staters? You are. Oh, you're making motors. Simple splitter. Cable. Yeah, you're doing fine. All right. I don't know. I uh, I want to start tearing this place down and rebuilding it, but at the same time, look at this mess. There's no way I could really, you know, try to uh, make this better without doing a massive amount of uh, massive amount of work right now. How are we coming over here? Ooh, seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, what do we get? The wet concrete, cheap silica, and steel screws. Well. That is a nice recipe for making a hell of a lot of screws. Although, that basically means I have to... Uh, I could run those over here. I probably need to find another location where I can make more of them.
Um, I don't know. That's actually a really nice recipe. And the other two are okay. And this one's add water to double the recipe. We'll go with the steel screws. Last hard drive. And once this hard drive is done, I think we're going to call it a night. But that doesn't mean we have to... Uh... Oh, where's the oil guy? Where is the old train? Oh, looks like Big Oil's on his way. We'll just write him out. There's the steel line. So yeah, we got the steel base, we got the oils, it's the home base. That's the one uh, we lost. So I guess it's just out there. But look at this whole world. We, we've we've barely touched anything in terms of you know making new areas. And you know I suppose one thing we should do is run a uh, a train line all the way down here. This is the other big oil area. So, you know, here's where, you know, our, we're currently running big oil. And I think there's still some other oil over in here. But then there's, uh, there's oil topia over here. And that wouldn't be a bad spot to do, like, uh, you know, additional processing. But, you know, there's other coal around here. We could uh, make a whole nother uh, steel mill. And maybe that's something that uh, we'll do next time is we'll start running the whole gosh why is that going this way oh it's probably because I really messed up this whole connection system yeah I'm gonna fix that I think I'll do that off stream So yeah, if you guys want to watch Star Trek with me, uh, I am currently in Season 3, so you'll probably have to get caught up. Alright, so... Oh, you know what? So we are currently running... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we currently have 14 on this line, and I want to. So. So to divide it in half, it's 25 uh, total devices. We're currently at 14. So if I take that down, 24, that's 12. So I need to take us up to 12. So 
seven, eight, nine, and I'm out of frames. I was hoping to get at least ten, but I guess. Well, I guess this will do. Little bit of an uptick and then back down. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're doing so much better. So now we're running eight, so a total of sixteen. And now we're just low on frames. Heavy modular frames. How are you doing? You're doing good. And how are we doing over here? Ooh, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. I can run underneath this. That is fascinating. I did not know I could do that. Okay, so I think I need to uh, fix up some of the the rail lines. Where's uh, I'm gonna have to go find pl rubber and plastic. Oh, big oil! Please tell me you're coming back here. Uh, it's on its way. Looks like the steel line just broke away. How are you doing? Eh, not bad. I think I want to uh, turn on another plastic one. So that should produce us a little bit more plastic. Oh yeah, we're getting some good oils, or just good plastic levels now. I do want to go see if I can go find rubber and plastic, but I think that's going to be a rather long expedition.
All right, ma'am, what you got? <gasps> Ooh, silicon circuit plastic? Huh. So for the cost of one more uh, steel, you know, copper roll, and swapping uh, plastic for silica, or silicon, no, silica, I get, okay. That crafts faster, and it doesn't require plastic, so those are nice. But it requires a lot more uh, per item. And, you know, two times five, you know, is ten. And five times four is twenty. So, you know, twenty plastic versus eleven silica. On the other hand, I have to pay one extra copper. So, I don't know. One hundred per minute. If I use a foundry to smelt, you know, along with some uh, iron to smelt uh, copper bars. Meanwhile, this I just need. Uh, well, rather than one to one, six to fifteen is a nice ratio with some water. I only crafted a little bit faster than you know. Uh, just doing it straight. However, if I do the uh, foundry recipe, you know, that's basically a two to one ratio. It's, you know, or a half ratio. I don't know. Um, cheap silica. It's slower. It requires an assembler rather than a constructor. And I get uh, plus two if I combine it with uh, limestone. I don't really see the need for that. So I think I'm going to go with the silica board. All right. That was all our hard drives. Got a nice view today. Ooh, let's take a screenshot of this. There we go. Well, guys, that's where we're going to leave things for the evening. I hope you all had fun. This has been a lot of fun for me. I, we've gotten you know, a lot done. And uh, I really hope uh, you'll all come back and see me on Wednesday. Where I, I, I'm, I'm going to try and do Kingdom Hearts. I'm not going to promise, but I want to try to do Kingdom Hearts. Because uh, yeah, I really do want Wednesday to be when we do Kingdom Hearts. On the other hand... There's a good chance that I'll probably be so excited about doing, you know, some other project or something that I'll want to do that instead. And that's perfectly acceptable. It is perfectly acceptable. Yeah. All right. Uh, I will see you all on Wednesday. Until then, have a good evening. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you then. Good night, everybody.